downtown Detroit, the spirit of Detroit, the name of that statue, uh, that statue adorned with the uh, Super Bowl uh, jersey today. Welcome back to the Motor City, site of the Super Bowl for just the second time in history. And if you've been ever been here, you know that Detroit kind of feels a little bit, kind of looks a little bit like Buffalo with its older architecture. Of course, all the auto plants and the work ethic. Well, there's no wonder uh, former Bills guard Joe DeLamalure felt so at home after growing up in Detroit when he uh, became uh, one of the Buffalo Bills. Joe D played eight years with the Bills on his way to the Pro Football Hall of Fame. He grew up just outside Detroit in the town of Warren, Michigan. He's been back in town this weekend to party with his family and high school friends. And Joe told us that uh, being elected to the Pro Football Hall of Fame three years ago was probably the best thing that's ever happened to him. It changed my life, no doubt. And I was a football fan. I may be the biggest football fan in the Hall of Fame. I can tell you the history of this league inside out. The only guy who's close to me in all of football is Gil Brandt. He, me and him challenge each other for football trivia. And uh, I was missing football tremendously. I mean, I was coaching, then I, I, I couldn't get a coaching job. And uh, it killed me. I mean, I, I was dying. I was going like withdraw. I don't drink, I don't smoke, so I was going through, through w football withdrawal. Joe DeLamalure has always been around the game at high school in Warren, Michigan, at Michigan State, and of course, in the NFL. Wednesday night, his friends and family welcomed him back to Detroit, back to the Victory Inn, the bar his father owned, a place Joe D knew very well as a child. My dad would come home at 2.30, wake us up, we'd come and clean it, and we'd come back and get him up at 5.30, and we'd open it up at 7. And we lived that, that was our life, and that was my dad's life for 43 years. 7 in the morning till 2.30 at night, a couple cat, cat naps in between. Joe DeLamalere has been surrounded by his friends and his family, his teammates even, all week long. And he is gratified that his buddies still remember their days together. We're all best friends. I mean, we are family. Half the people here, there's a couple guys here who uh, lived with our family. And uh, we had one bathroom, 10 kids, no lock. And I said my mother taught us teamwork. <laughs> DeLamalere will root for the Steelers tomorrow for Jerome Bettis. He thinks Bettis will join him as the only Detroit natives in the Pro Football Hall of Fame. But his heart remains with the Bills, and he's free to offer advice when the franchise is in trouble. I called Mr. Wilson three years ago, and I recommended Dick Duran. And Dick doesn't even know this. I thought Dick Duran was one of the greatest coaches. I don't want to say one of the best coaches. Greatest is thrown around. When he goes 13-3 and three with Jim Miller as a quarterback, then he has to go and play down in uh, Champaign and he doesn't have a home game and he's traveling and his quarterback, uh, Rex Grossman, gets hurt. Dick Duran, in my opinion, is gonna be one of the best coaches in the NFL. I'd love to be a consultant with Dick. I'm, I gotta talk to him about this, just to come to camp and help because I want, I'm want i missing one thing for my football career and I know I could get it within a couple years. It'd be a Super Bowl ring. Joe D was one of those who thought for sure that Thurman Thomas would make it to the Hall of Fame this, uh, today, and obviously he did not. I'm sure Thurman uh, appreciates Joe D's support.